this uh, four inch steel tubing, structural steel tubing. And the uh, Harbor Freight bandsaw handles it very nicely and I'm getting a nice clean cut and keeping my toes out of the way for when that thing drops off. This is the uh, support tube, I guess I'll call it that, the support tube for the uh, tongue extension for my trailer. And uh, I'm drilling it out in eight places, drilling it out in eight places to hold these uh, spacers. Now this tube's too big for the uh, three inch tube I want to use for the extension. So I'm putting these spacers in here to make it, make it fit right. And I'm bolting them in rather than weld them because a problem if you make it too tight of a fit and it rusts while it's sitting, then you can't get your extension out. So hopefully with these spacers in there, if I ever have that problem, I can just remove these bolts and the spacer and everything will come out and I can free the tube and clean it. That's the theory. So, turn it around, working in a vise, up against a stop, <clears throat> so I could drill all the holes without having to keep measuring. There we go. Now I've drilled all the holes uh, 3 8 and I'm drilling and tapping these uh, 5 16 24, uh, leaving myself a lot of slop because it's a salt water fit. And this is my setup for drilling the spacers or the shims or whatever. Uh, put them in the vise up against the stop. mill is uh, locked in place. And, uh, <clears throat> I was drilling with a uh, eye drill. That was what was recommended and it seemed a little loose to me so I'm using an H drill makes it a little harder to tap, but it's got more thread in it, which is nice. I'm hand tapping. Not because I think it's better, it's just I really don't have a setup for it. Holes a little tight, I have to be careful. There you go, 5 16 24 threaded hole. We only got uh, seven more to go. This is the uh, four inch square tube for the uh, tongue extension for my trailer. Four inches. The inside was a little big for the three inch tube, so I had to make these parts, which are tapped, uh, five sixteenths. They drop in here like this. Then 
you put the bolt through the hole to hold them, four of them. As you can see, there's the uh, part in there um, just holding the bolt up against the edge. And you can see that it's too long, so I have to cut some of it off right there. Well, I, I measured it while in place uh, on the uh, square tube, and that much needs to come off. Uh, and I set it on my caliper and locked it down. <clears throat> and I'm going to put the piece, uh, the bolt, uh, in my metal lathe. But uh, there's no place to like grab it, right? So I bought a uh, a nut, and you uh, simply twist the nut on it, so you can grab it. It's wide enough now to grab in the chuck, <clears throat> so you can take your cut. I simply measure with the calipers and move the tool just by eyeball. doesn't have to be real accurate. Better to have a little bit tad more off than too little so it doesn't stick out and rub. <clears throat> and then I just part it off. It's a uh, parting tool there. Oops. And it just pops right on off. Turning it about 300 and some RPM. <clears throat> Then I just take a, uh, a file and bevel the edge a little. Because if you don't, you won't be able to start the, uh, the screw in the hole. Doesn't have to be a lot. This is fine thread, so it uh, cleans up pretty easy. Take it out like this, part way, lock it down, and make sure the uh, nut comes off. Yeah, then I know it's clean and nothing's sticking up. There, there it <clears throat> so there it is, shortened. Didn't take long, had to do eight of them though. <laughs> Takes a little longer. Put the uh, lock washer on. Kind of just hold it in place until I can find the screw. Screw hole, rather. Give it a good tighten. And there you go. The bolt is flush. Nothing sticking out. Can you see that? And this is a piece of uh, an end piece I cut off with a three inch tube that's going to form the tongue. And the whole point of this was that this had to fit down in there. You can see it's it's got a little play. But that won't be uh, too bad. This is a saltwater fit. And remember, it's going to be about uh, 10 foot long sticking out there, so it'll wobble a little, but I think it's going to be adequate. <clears throat> so now I got to go uh, to the trailer and uh, see if I can't fit the tube uh, by putting the uh, tongue in it and uh, seeing how it positions. Uh, this is going to be the tricky part. He'll sneak up on me later. Well, I've got the uh, I've got the sleeve, or whatever you want to call it, in place. The tube on the uh, on the tongue extension. This is just sitting on there to line things up. Comes right off. Haven't figured out exactly how to 
get the mechanism to work on the bottom one yet. I'll be machining that in a minute. But I have to figure out how to attach this part to the frame of the trailer so this tube will slide in and out. And I've got to gauge it so it hits the back uh, at a support back there just right. So it take a little visualization and uh, shimming it and measuring and, and whatever. It'll be a while. Why am I having fun? <laughs> oh, and uh, I had to buy an entire new uh, uh, hitch here uh, because this replacement part is, uh, is not available. There's been a change of plans. I was using a 4-inch tube uh, a round 3-inch tube because I had all those things already. I had the 4-inch long tubing from another project. Uh, fitting that 4-inch tube to the trailer it, it proved to be problematic. It wasn't easy. The trailer is built with 3-inch tubing. So I've decided to sister up uh, a piece of 3-inch tube underneath the existing trailer tongue and use 2.5 inch tube inside of it. Uh, it'll be a good fit, a little loose, just like I want, and a lot easier to fabricate and a lot easier to weld to the trailer. Uh, I've already bought the steel and I hope to show you uh, the project uh, as I fabricate the parts. I think it's going to work out a lot better that way. I'm publishing this mistake as it were because it's got good machining content and I probably will use that four inch tubing with the three inch in the middle uh, for another project so it's not totally wasted. Do and you learn. I wish I'd made some drawings though. <laughs>